The next item I want to talk about is noise. And this is a delicate subject because if you ever have the opportunity to speak to somebody who lives in a SIP house and you ask them, is the house that you live in a quiet house? And most often you'll hear across the board that anybody who's lived in a SIP house will tell you it's the quietest house I've ever lived in. The problem is, is SIPs perform really, really well in some areas of noise and they don't perform really, really well in other areas of noise. Let me back up and talk about noise in general. Noise is defined in a product term by the STC, the sound transmission class. And that sound transmission class defines how well a system or a component rejects the transfer of noise through the system. Very similar to the R value that you're very familiar with. Well, the STC number defines the ability for a SIP to resist noise moving through that system. Well, when determining what an STC number is, they define that by the use of both difference in frequencies as well as different decibel levels. And what we find is the SIP systems do a really good job until you get to very low frequency, very high energy or high decibel noises. So when the teenager drives by with the thumping woofer in their car outside your house, it's that thumping sound with that low frequency that hits the SIP system and cre can create a drum effect. Now when I say a drum effect, that's very similar to contact sound, which will also move through a SIP system quite readily, easily. If rain falls on your SIP roof, you can hear that rain hitting your roof because it's contact sound. It's no different than the contact sound which might be equated to a kid throwing a ball and hitting the side of your house. You're going to hear that contact sound. What you won't hear is the talking or the shouting of the kid outside because that airborne low uh, energy sound can't get its way through that SIP envelope. In essence, the SIPs perform very well in most residential applications at creating a very sound, a comfortable environment, keeping all airborne sounds out. The sound they don't keep out are the high energy, low frequency sounds, and of course, contact sounds. You need to understand and know this and make it very clear to the client that these are the types of sounds that may come through a SIP envelope. Again, ask anybody that's lived in a SIP house if it's a quiet house, and almost in all cases, they'll tell you it's probably the quietest house that they've ever lived in.